You like, you like that RMLR? I like the RMLR. Yeah, that thing worked out nicely yesterday on the four hour, huh? But yes, <laughs> literally, it went to the mean, it reverted to the mean, and then boom, fell right back down, hit a 3SV, and started walking around. Just yeah. I mean, it just nailed it. It hit, it hit the, uh, on that current candle, it hit, I uh, only want SD, but yeah, yeah, that move hit the 3SD band, and just notice that, uh, hmm. Yeah, like I, I did, I read your post earlier, and that's exactly what happens. God, I mean, with this RMLR and the freaking projection cones, yeah. people, well, we had this dump, but why didn't it continue? Well, here, let, let's yeah. show you why it doesn't continue and why. Just do you know basic math? <laughs> All you have to do is understand basic math, and we can drag you into the VEPs, man. You'll get it. You just got to continue to study it. <laughs> It's pretty wild. I rewatched that uh, vid too, the little short one on the RMLR. That's a good video. You were rolling. Yeah. I like when Yasha rolls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about the four hour yesterday on Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, four hours. Sweet. Yeah, right where it crossed. MJ did a good edit on that little, whatever. He, you know, he, he, he cut that thing up. Real the, good. Intro. the intro yeah. to the vids are so awesome. I mean, we got the best intros in YouTube, and fucking, we get like fifteen <laughs> views. <laughs> yeah, and it's all and it's all people <laughs> who have yeah. already like who missed the live stream and want to see it again or something. <laughs> it's so funny. It is funny. Yeah, this thing dumped outside the Laplace distribution <laughs> and just walked right back into it. Of course, it's what it does. Yep. That's what it does. Yep. And I'm sure I wouldn't be a bit fucking surprised to get a little squeeze here before this thing fucking. I mean, the 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 charts look. Me and MJ talked for a little while last night. These charts just look brutal, man. The fucking markets look horrible. <laughs> we'll see though. I can see a nice little squeeze here though. But yeah, it worked its way oh, yeah. right back into that distribution. What happened? Oh, yep. check the ninety. Oh yeah, Very ninety. Nice. Can back us up a couple more. We need to get this freaking this new projection boss with where you can drag and drop. We need to get this baby freaking up and running. Yeah, we need to release that. I really like it. Yeah, ninety minute. The nine just got back up in. Just got back up in there in the last four candles. See what these fucking charts look like. Let's see here. Ninety minute. Yeah, this, uh, we get a nice bouncer on the returns oscillator. Look, all the fissures turned up on that, uh, that, that definitely. What am I on the 90? We got 24 minutes left. All the fissures are to the upside and could get a bouncer. What are those? Is that candle blue? Yes, it is. Yeah, we might get a bull div, a little pop here. <clears throat> What's pre market doing? I looked, I looked a little bit ago, it was down just a tick. Let's see. Just we took Biddy just ripped up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's about the same. Spy's about the same. 
Let's see. My bitty, what I was noticing, it is... Yeah, getting up above the 68.3 on the daily. Kind of after the dump yesterday, just been ranging in that 68.3. But now, yeah, it's making a little push. Making a little push up to the daily. Wouldn't be a bit surprised. 19K. Me and MJ were talking about 19K yesterday. MJ was wanting that 19K number bad. Because <laughs> it was going to drag Solana to $31. I don't know how that worked out, but yeah. Oh, MJ would have been a good trade, apparently. <laughs> Frank fucking laughing right now. <laughs> Oh, get back over here. Well, I hit 19K on the way down. <laughs> Shit just happened. That's fine. There we go. There's Obiddy. Did he make a jump? Just look on the low, low. 45 minute. Getting an outlier on the 45. Let's see something real quick. Let me throw this projection on the 45. <laughs> Yep, back to the 95.4 on the 45. Hmm, 15 minutes. Big outlier on the 15. Let's turn this off. Actually, let's not. One, two, three. Let's drag this baby all the way up here. Come here, little sugar. Boop. There we go. Outside the distribution already on the 15. The big outlier. And that's why, like right now, you know, you get some noob, especially young. Crypto is their first experience of trading. And they're just like, oh, yeah, I've heard about crypto, boy. It's volatile. Oh, let's long this shit. Look at this healthy candle. This is time. I think we should hit the hit the, hit the the buy button. It's like you're about to get your pee-pee smacked. Be careful. <laughs> you miss that quick. Nice little scalp, too, man. Nice little scalps. I'm gonna look that. Yeah, a couple hundred bucks. Oh, you, you could have bought yesterday. I made a ton of money yesterday if you were buying dollars. <laughs> Let's see here. What is. Yeah, I want to see this market open. It's Dixie. Goddamn Dixie's just continuing to creep. <clears throat> Talk about randomly walking to the top side. Oil's down. I bet. Hmm. Watch VIX here when this opens. Oh. Gold and silver doing what gold and silver do. Absolutely zip. And fucking silver back to 18. That's when I sold. That's when I sold my stack of silver. I bought all that. I think I bought five cases at 12 bucks. Sold at 18. Oh. I'd like to see the chart go up. All I got to do is for invert the trade. Yeah, exactly. Trade the other side You're of that pair. You're not happy with the market? <laughs> Invert your chart. <laughs> Invert the chart, my friend. Literally. Yeah, totally. Literally. Flip your frame of reference. <laughs> Tell you what, though, man. This could, uh... Yeah. This 15-minute move. I don't know, man. I like the way these fissures look. What happened on that four-hour? Yeah, didn't they? Get starting at the low length turned up. Hmm... Definitely a little bold div on the... I'll tell you what, the predictor flipped on the four-hour. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, as soon as I woke up and I looked at the charts, I was like, oh, yeah, here we go. These dummies that didn't take profit are about to get squeezed. Yeah. That's what... That's what makes this all so... I mean, just incredibly amazing. Where the best part of all this is Teaching people how to take profit. God, just take your profit, man. My God, what is wrong? It's like one of the hardest things to do in trading. And it's like, and, and it's literally the, the point of trading. But it's the hardest thing for yeah. people to do. Their ego's on a fucking unicycle in their head, just running around in circles. We're we going to get all this. It's like, yeah, you're about to get. Yeah, I'm the greed. Asking the greed just kills, gets them work every mm. time. Oh, yeah, for Greed sure. Come. The greed will come and get you. Let's move up a little bit. 12 hour. What this daily? Yeah, that daily had a big outlier. <clears throat> so, actually, got some bold div. 
Don't like that candle I'm seeing on the 24 or on the 20 on the uh, daily chart though. It's definitely negatively correlated. Hmm. When did we get this two day? Let's see, I think so. It's a day. Yeah, we get a new two day today. Boy, that two days ugly. Yeah, this is what me and MJ were going over last night. These higher time frames, the fishers are just absolutely fucked right now. They're all heading down hard. Three day looks awful. And it is setting up. Now, that's the thing. Where we talk about divs, people don't understand. It's just like, yeah, yeah, there's bull div. You can see these little bull div moves play out on these three-day candles. But when you get the bull div on like a on a macro time frame like this, dude, you need <laughs> you need bigger move. Because all it's all it's doing is setting up hidden bear. That's all it's doing. And if you don't get a powerful bull move, yeah, I mean this this thing's gonna dump. This thing will dump. <clears throat> that hidden bear will play out because the bull, the the bull div is definitely uh, just little, little, little relief bounces. That's all. I mean, we're on a three day. It's not little. Hell, it's a couple thousand dollars, probably. Uh, yep, almost. So, <clears throat> pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Then you got the weekly straight up, fucking having an outlier to the downside. Hmm. You know what though? Yeah, God, man, all those fishers are down there crossing the mean too, man. You've got the what is that one? I'll tell you what, you got two of them still down here by the two SD band. These two are just crossing the mean. Interesting. Five. Convention. Since we uh, since we did that little RMLR tutorial yesterday, I just wanted to mention something. For the folks who are here today, again, like, uh, you know, who heard it yesterday and uh, you know, whatever. Uh, like, this is obviously, we said it before, this is a new indicator, right? So we've only been using this since, like, what, April or May or something like that. Um, so it's, we're still discovering things about it. Yeah. And, like, you know, you might discover certain other things about it as well if you use it and, and, and you know, do a lot of insight work on it. Uh, so there are, you know, maybe new things. Things, whatever we will discover about it in time. Uh, certain things like uh, percentage of time reverts to the RMLR versus to the actual mean, etc. Uh, but all these kind of things are, you know, for the for the studious trader who likes to learn what's actually being done. It's still a very new indicator, so uh, bear that in mind as you use it, and always make sure you do your research on it properly. You know, testing stuff and looking at it and everything else, but. Yeah, what we discussed yesterday is very powerful stuff. I just felt yeah, I wanted, very. wanted to reiterate it's still in discovery mode. Yeah. I just noticed this two day. I hadn't looked at the two day with the RMLR. Wow. I'll tell you what, man. And you know how Bitcoin is. <laughs> Gotta be careful. It's a beast. That's why we trade low time frames. Yep. These people are trying to figure out what this market's gonna people that are trying to figure yep. out what a random market's gonna do. I mean, what what are we doing here? Like I liked your a little reply earlier in the chat. Yeah. It's random market. Be careful. Yeah. But uh yeah, yeah don't get... look for patterns in a random market. <laughs> I'm looking at that weekly, right? The weekly is or no, what was that? That wasn't a weekly, is it today? No. It's a four hour. Yeah. Four hours given like the little the the little a little warning sign, like, hey man, this thing we definitely gonna get a squeeze here probably. To the top side. And I look at that two day, man. It's just resting right on the reverse mean. Let me turn this. I thought I set that where I got the fucking first band. Get that first band on here too. First, let me go to a weekly. I'll go back to the two day. I just want to save this. The index. Yes. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, look where the entropy is. It's random. It is random. Totally. I bet you look at the vol without even looking at my charts right now. I'm not having a puff. But I bet you if you look at the volatility, it ain't all that high on that time frame. On the weekend. <sighs> yeah, for sure. It's looking for volatility down. Yeah, it's contracting positively correlated. Um, but yeah, that's the five twenty five because we had that expansion on this little dump. But yeah. Nine, the the is that the yeah nine eighty one nine eighty one's down uh, it's about a five let me blow this up hold on eight point six four eight six four the nine eighty one yeah that's low I yeah mean, that's not 
Big time. It's not big, low. super low, but it's low. And that's without, and that, I didn't even look at a chart. I'm like, I'm literally looking at my mobile phone. All I see is their uh, RMLR, you know, what you're streaming here. Like, I didn't even look at my volatility chart when I was doing that. It's like, when the RMLR is up to me, I mean, you know, <laughs> not by accident. Right. It might be random, but it's not by accident. Three day, three days down by the mean, too. Three day hit the 68.3 to the downside, almost a dollar there. One SD is right there. Or is it, is, uh, is the two day going to hold? Is the three day, is this just a little slip and slide? This is a backyard slip and slide. And it's random. It's ra it looks like it's random and walking towards your friend. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Yep, -er. Seven day given any more. So uh, now nah, seven days pretty much on tab with the weekly. Tell you what though. It's nineteen hundred dollar Bitcoin. Bring it, man. You shitting me right now? What can I sell? <laughs> I'm gonna sell my yeah, nephew. That was a present. Oh boy. But it's not. I need to make up a for sale sign for my nephew. Yeah. Sell his ass. Buy a big Bag of doge. Yep. Very interesting indeed. But all my friends are buying doge at the high. Shouldn't I buy at the high too? Or who was it that I saw? Uh, no, who was it? Uh, year, like years ago. Some it was, it, it was, uh, I don't want to even say it. It was, it was, it was, it was the guy that Who's Discord we all met in? Who was uh, who was always talking about buy at the high because when it's trending up, <laughs> like no, no, that's not what happens. When you're <laughs> B, you should buy so high, buy low. That's the perfect. yeah. This ninety minute it's confirmed high. This ninety minute blasted to the three SD band on the reverse mean. This thing is probably going to mean revert. They probably got about five hundred dollars of price action incoming. I would imagine. Come up here and test this bad boy. Or no, hell, that's yeah, yeah. No, that's about five hundred bucks. Would not surprise me at all to see that happen. Because that's dead. That's what you get. Watch you re people rewatch that video. Yasha gives a great description about it. I mean, when you get outside these bands on this, it is. It's powerful. You're usually most likely high probability going to get a mean reversion. Yeah. And uh, like more than 99% of the time, whatever the crazy mm -hmm. number is, it's insane. For sure. As long as you've got, as long as you got the settings, as long as you have the settings, you know, like yeah. 30 12 is really good for that kind of thing. 10, I also like, you know, 45. 11 to, 10 is also good. 45 yeah. road, the SD band yeah. back. This went sideways and mean reverted. Look at that wick right to it. Right to it. Right to that current candle 95.4. Laplace. And it just happened to be right there on the reverse mean. And it's random as random gets. Very random. Yep. It kind of it kind of makes that whole uh, demonstration very clearly. Yeah. Very random. This is the mean. This 45 minute candle can close above here. If this 45 can close up about 18.9, probably we'll see that 90 fucking fly up here. That 19.4 area, somewhere in that range. Which we know the amount of leverage these DGENs fucking use. A little move like that will definitely disrupt these knuckleheads. Why wouldn't you Put take more it? money into the pockets of the smart money? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what we used to talk about. Hey, you know they call you dumb money? There's a reason. It's not because you're smart. That's for sure. And in reality, you probably aren't a dumb person. But, uh, right. yeah. There's a circuit. You, you are letting... Hold you really the trap. Dumb people fucking <laughs> tell you how to trade. Yeah. That's the problem.
Oh, it's making yep. the push. Come on. Get yeah, it, look, 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 look at all look at all those dumps, right? Right before this big dump where it was the entropy, random. And then boom, it expanded just yeah. as the uh, price fell away from the RMLR. Yeah. That was and great. Go right through it. And if you scroll if you scroll back, you'll see the same thing on every pump and every dump. Like this just it's just Yeah, like that uh G Bun, what's his name? Bunny. Our our most our craziest bunny. What's his dude's name? <laughs> <laughs> our he was talking He's about the A V P and that move. It was just like yeah. his point of the day, what happened. Yeah. That's this is what it's all about, man. Volatility is not easy to read in the beginning. You will lose your mind. You just gotta focus and keep plugging away. You will figure it out. Now I'm watching right now and this this 90s trying to push back up inside this uh, one SD band. If it closes back up inside this one SD band, that's a no-brainer. Yep. Baby's going to go right back to the mean. Like Yashi said in that video yep. yesterday. It's just like, dude, this, you, for scalps and stuff, this is a very powerful indicator. But don't just, like, out of the box, start trading this stuff. I mean, you need to give yourself right. time. Got yep. to learn. Especially the volatility. That, then that's yep. the whole thing. If you can understand, if you give yourself a little time and understand that indicator, <laughs> everything else is going to be pretty damn easy. Just yeah. understanding that volatility. That's why we make it available. Yeah. You understand that first, everything else is just going to freaking, it's going to be easy. Flow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it will flow for sure. And you'll see how all this works together. It's like you said, you stare at these things long enough, eventually, when you learn it, it clicks. Yeah. Big time. Just big you know, time. So it's, it's just absolutely true. Like, Afri African said it, like, he was staring at this thing for months and months, like, staring at the indicators for months until finally one day, you know, it opened his, you know, his mind opened and understood what's going on. And frame by frame, he was just, understanding how it moves and again you just it starts with memorizing those tendencies internalizing those tendencies like they're not that hard there's only six of them they're just they're just there's only six of them you know like it's not that hard there it is yeah. there it is just looking at this little recent bounce here on the 90, where we're at here. Yep, found some support on the 68.3. And 95.4 is a little bit below that 90-minute reverse mean. 19, almost 19.2. The reverse mean is right about there. 19.3 area. And, right? The indicators we use. So people are like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, is that is there a data set? Is that where the resistance is? No. No, it's not where your so-called support and resistance is at. There's only math. There's only probabilities. Are those support and resistance areas? Uh, if you want to call them that. Or you can just say, look, here's the probability. It's basic. If you understand math, you understand percentages, it's not too hard to figure it out. Can it get through those areas? Sure it can. It's Bitcoin. It's a beast. But the, if you, I'm telling you what, you start you start not paying attention to those probabilities, you're going to get bit in the ass. You will get bit in the boo-boo. It will come for you. Always does. Teen million. Ticka, ticka, ticka. Nope. Volatility expanding on the uh, 45. Positively correlated. Coming off a long... Long-term bull div move here. Fisher's all turned up. DLP getting ready to pop to the top side. The predictor's definitely flipped. Coming in. Let's see if it can come down in the trend. Get this quick little squeeze up. You know what? What are these? Whoops. Let me go back over here. Load this. I want to see these weekly levels again. Let's see here. Um, boy, look at that one SD to the downside too. Right at the one SD band, the reverse mean, eighteen K. 
I'm surprised we didn't hit that fully. The 68.3 is back up over 20. This is what I'm wondering about. Are we going to get another quick mean reversion? I don't know, man. If we do, you know, we're talking 21. Which, if they're going to really dump this market out, that would be a brilliant little move. Brilliant little move. Get people out of their positions. No, uh, what's <laughs> excuse me. Jesus. I'm hopped up on espresso and country air. Yeah, spy's not doing really anything pre market. Down just a little bit. Nothing to see. Mm-hmm. Who's BTC? Oh, yeah. What's NASDAQ up to? Barely up. Just a little bit. Hockey up ho hockey sticks. Where's Donnie? Oh, he's here. He's listening. Working. Yeah, this daily never even got tested. That's a no-brainer. Nineteen is kind of a no-brainer at this point. But I like that 90 minute to uh get back to that reverse mean at about 19.3, 19.4. We're about to find out, though, as soon as this bad boy opens up. And the mean, the mean is on the ninety minute. The mean is literally at the RMLR, intersecting the RMLR uh, from since the last candle, and now it's just below it on the thirty twelve RMLR, which <laughs> is uh, I'm looking at Bitcoin. Sorry, yeah, you're looking at what are you looking at, Spider? Yeah, oh, okay, Bitcoin. sorry, sorry, I was looking at Bitcoin. Never mind. What? Yeah, no, I'm on Bitcoin. What, there's an, what time frame? There's, time? Yeah, there's an. The 90 minute, there's an intersect right now. It just happened on the oh. RMLR and the mean. And look, it's just starting to move up on this candle literally as it fell past the RMLR. Let me turn on. It's, below, it's literally just below it. It's still, I mean, you could even say it's still touching it. Like last, last candle, it crossed it. Now it's like riding just below it. So this candle, within the next couple of candles, don't be surprised to see a nice little move here. Well, I thought I had another RMLR here. Yeah, I only see one RMLR on yours, man. Yeah, I, I had one on there. I don't know what the hell happened. Guess what? But, Go. We got one right there. Yeah. I have a mean. And, like, the UPM, I'm using the UPM power mean there. I've got it set to uh, to a 30. 30. And it's just, it's just under the 3012 RMLR. Right. Yeah, so there's those yeah. two. So you're 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 using what? So which which power mean are you talking about? What length? The 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 central power mean from uh, UPM. Oh, okay. And uh, I just have it set to thirty, and it's literally just, you know, the mean is just right above the uh, the RMLR. Okay. Which just crossed down past it in the last candle, and now we have a new candle, as the market just opened. And a new candle on Bitcoin, and I would not be surprised to see a nice little move in this candle or the next. We've already seen, I mean, the last candle already started to move up, but this this candle in the next. Maybe see some nice continuance. We'll see. Uh, or, you know, whatever. The, 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 the power on that uh, on that time frame is still pointing down, but it's slowly starting to, you know, to, to slow down and maybe yeah. find the bottom there. Whatever. We'll the see. 11, the 11th. In any case. Yeah, I see it the same way you do, Bill Bill. I don't see him right on there, but I got it. 
Yeah, and I don't have the UPM turned on right now. Yeah, I don't either. When I got all this, when you got all these dev bands turned on too, I mean, this is just people looking at this for the first time. Hey, this is really not a mess. It, it's having a bad hair day. Just look at it like that. It's a bad hair day. It's okay. Wow, Shit, Arnold just fell out of bed. Sure, well, look. <laughs> exactly. I'll my screen shot. I'll put, I'll put the, I'll put the, yeah. the, the chart in the screen. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Right up, right. Yeah, there you go. So I'm literally just asking if I could post the screenshot. There you go. Posted. I'll make it. Maybe I'll zoom in a bit bigger, but it's, I think it's clear. You, you can literally see the, the UPM mean is just above the RMLR on Bitcoin on the 90 minute. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see it right now. See it now. Yeah, I got it. And, and, and look, it crossed in the last candle and started to move up. And now we're seeing, it, you know, it's, it's below. Right. And I mean, you know, it's. Let me see something. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised to see him move in this candle within there. Like, it's usually within a couple of candles. Two, three, four candles is the most. You start to see him move. And on lower time frames, it, it's very often, you know, a couple of candles. Peace. I mean, it's, it's been recently, it's been the candle or one candle away, even. But sometimes it can take a couple of candles. PM. So literally, you're just using, let's see here. Which one do I want to see? Yeah, the central power mean is 30. Are you just using the power mean band and just using one on 30? No, I don't even, yeah, I don't yeah. even turn on the ribbon. I just literally leave on the central power mean and I put it at 30. Right. With a, you know, and that's it. Where are you at, power? Central power mean like near the top of the UPM. It's just it's like the third or four, it's the third uh, category of information down. There's you know, the UPM ribbon, then there's the UPM ribbon colors, and then there's the central power mean. Right, that's the one. Yeah, like right there. AT UPM is the one I'm using. Maybe we have a different version. I don't know, but. Yeah, I have no clue what version I even have, right? Yeah, no, that's the thing. Like, because we have the, you know, okay. the test versions, we often have slightly different versions from each from everybody else, but yeah. Totally. But I can just, like, I can take, I, you can just change plot one and put plot one on a... Yeah, if you have it set to whatever it is, 33 or whatever, you just change it to 30. You want to see the one I'm looking at, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, I use a 35 on that. So, yeah, I mean, whatever. They're all yeah. good. I'm just saying, like, if you, you know, if you look at, if you look at when it's uh, intersecting on any length, yeah. uh, on you know any valid length, obviously not random nonsense that doesn't make sense. Let me turn off all these other plots. I just want to populate the power mean. By the way, that's that is a, a solid reason why it could very well take a few candles. I just didn't even I never really thought about that, P Funk, but that's a that's a very good point. If you use 35, if you use 30, if you use 33. Uh so it could take a couple candles for all those to line up right. and make the move. That makes a lot yeah. of sense. That's why, you know, I mean logically that's why it would take a few candles to make a move sometimes. Someone just pointed out to me the other day, and I never knew this since the since the time I started using that RWT months ago, that it's uh it's already preset to a forty nine channeling. I had never known that. Because remember, that's that's mostly what I use is RWT, and I never knew right. that would be the number behind. It. I think MJ pointed that out to me. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't know you could manipulate that either. You know what I mean? But I mean, you know, the RWT theory for me, it works like a champ. I mean, it's it's plain as day. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it really is. I mean, I use that along with a 35 power mean, and I'm telling you what, wow, that's a powerful combo. You know what I mean? Just to me, it is. You know what I mean? I sound like, God, I sound like TA there. <laughs> no, it's, it's really good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> the reason, and another the thing I'm noticing, too, real quick, is because with the VRE and your Laplace lines and your normal is a lot of times, because I, I told you I monitor another room, and they go off levels, and theirs is all open, high, low, close, and, 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 and our stuff is real similar but a little bit more precise. In fact, a lot more precise, but it's, you know what I mean? Like everything's level based, right? But a, a lot of these, a lot of these lines that we have here, like VRE and all that, it's, it's just weird how they randomly 
attract to the high low open high low close that kind of stuff do you guys ever notice that well it's, it's not i mean the price action is random but the reason oh well, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 the price the, action is totally the magnetism yeah. the magnetism of those of those target zones mm -hmm. is because that's where the volatility matters right right no well, I, i'm with you i just it's ironic that it's just you know very many times it's just yeah, yeah. High, sure. open, yeah no, i mean it, 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 because those places are hitting standard deviations or Laplace distributions, that's why their oh, level that makes sense. Yeah, that makes and yeah. when they're and when they're looking at time frames, like I don't know if they're looking at a daily or whatever, and the daily is somewhere between the standard deviations, they can very often be completely wrong with their guesses based on price, right? Because they're not looking at the volatility, right? Wow. You know, and, and when they're right, it's because that's where those volatility levels are. I mean, that just yep. that's the most obvious logical answer. Like, yeah, it's not that yeah. I'm just saying you know, these things can be tested. We look at them all the time, right? We test these things constantly. And people want people who are listening to this for the first time. who are like, oh, what are you guys? What do you think you know about you know these things better than anybody else? We talk and why do your lines work better than our lines? Because we look at them and test them. We don't just blindly follow what some you know triangle drawing person says on the internet. Like, we actually bother to test these things and measure them statistically and see if they're accurate or not. <laughs> and they are, or we wouldn't do these things. But anyway, yeah. yeah. So thank you for pointing that out. I appreciate that because yeah, it is a very astute observation that you just made really. Yeah. Spy. Spy getting a little pop. Here comes a squeeze. Here comes a squeeze. Um, yeah. Tight daily range, for crying out loud. I mean tight. Jesus. 30 cents. <clears throat> Approximately. Yeah. But yeah, I still... Uh, yeah, this is this 19.3 area is probably about to happen here. On, I mean, we just hit 18.9. Let's see. Got in, closed, closed that ninety-minute candle up above that one SD. So yeah, there we go. There we go. But yeah, I got that power mean now. Set up just yeah. like yours. Yep, looks just like yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. Poking through. Yeah. So I never. So you're saying you're saying on the the actual RMLR when you when it goes through the the power when it actually touches or goes through the power mean we're talking about the RMLR not price action that 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 means something to you Yash I I wasn't here for yesterday's call. Yeah, yeah. When the RMLR crosses the mean, right? The power mean, yeah, the mean. Like where he's pointing to right now. Uh huh. Like, we're, like right before the dump yesterday. Correct. Okay. And, and it's touching one of them right now as we speak, right? And th this is on the 90 minute. Yeah, on the 90 minute, on the 90 minute, it just ran through the power mean like two candles ago. Because now yeah. we're on a new candle. And yeah. it's running through it again now. And now it's running through it again with the power mean, you know, running through the, uh, right. the intersection with the RMLR, possibly going, you know, going to end up above it on this candle or next one. Right. But so two candles ago, it fell below it. Last candle, it was below it. And the price pumped. And this candle, it's like they're intersecting again, and the price is still pumping. But it could easily start to walk here because it's going to look for the new direction of the intersection, like past intersection. And you can see the RMLR is zigzagging a lot here in the coming candles. It's going down and up and down and up a bunch. And so you can, and you're starting to see the power mean, for example, on this 90 minute is going down very hard. But if it finds a bottom towards, you know, around where this RMLR starts to bottom out before it, you know, starts going up a little before the, the, the big predicted dump, um, you could easily see a lot of intersections happening, right? right? So back and forth, back and forth, you might see a lot of volatile moves up and down, up and down, like in a kind of a sideways walk. It could be right. sideways walking up, it could be sideways walking down, it could be you know, slowly drifting up or down. Um, but you're going to see some nice moves here for scalps on lower time frames than the 90 minute because these intersections on the 90 minute are happening. So if you're trading, if you're looking at the 90 minute and you're trading down on the 15 or whatever, or the half hour, you know, for example, um, then when these intersections happen on the 90 minute, look at the, look at the 15, look at the 30 and you can get some nice entries. I mean, those are still high time frames for me, but that's the same concept, just different time frames. <laughs>
And when that RMLR looks like it's going to drop down further around, uh, you know, in the afternoon, my time, so like morning U.S. time tomorrow, uh, watch out for where the mean is there and see what is going to happen because it could be quite a bumpy, fun ride, it looks like, for the next several days. Like we said, this is going to be a very nice volatile week, and we're already seeing it, right? Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, I think we started off the call yesterday with the weekly range, talking about the weekly range, and we're like, yeah, it's probably going to be a volatile week, up or down, and boom. Yep. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I would be surprised to see this fucker right back up at the weekly. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is this is interesting, especially when you get these future projections. I want to see. I want to see when these when the future, like when this eleven crosses the thirty, out in the future, what's happening with price action? That's what's great. Like back here, this cross when the, when the eleven crossed down the thirty here. I mean, you were seeing that probably. You know, you were seeing that back in here somewhere in the future that we're gonna fucking cross right there. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot more to this indicator to be. Uh, to be brought out for sure. Just using it, figuring things out with it. It's powerful, man. It's a powerful indicator. Kind of a jumbled mess if you don't know what you're looking at. And it's, okay. it's, fun, it's but it's fun to be able to like look at something new and mm-hmm. discover things about it. You know, like to know you are one of the first people probably in the retail space that has ever seen anything like this. Yeah, and to be able to actually sit here and discover things about it, it's just, I mean, as a trader, you don't get this kind of stuff every day. <laughs> you definitely don't. No, it took me 20 years to find it. Yeah, yeah right. It did. Like, I've been looking online for close, maybe 25 years. Yeah, there's, I mean, who else is telling you something so accurate about future direction of the reverse mean? It's just, it's crazy. Yeah, crazy. It's just cool. And it works so well. I mean, Ben F really built a heck of an indicator. And when he when he managed to combine the thing with the future thing, it's just boom, bringing forth the thing. The thing. God, is there a good guess? And look at. I mean, the prediction director on it is so, the direction predictor that Donnie Brook baked into these things is just man, it's remarkable. Look, I mean, look how it called that dump. On the 90 minute, even it just literally called the dump from the very top candle. And so there's shifting directions there and it started to go down. The next candle had already confirmed sell. It just said sell the whole way down until it bottomed. And then it said shifting directions now. And yeah, it's shifting. It kept you in the whole ride, too. You know what I mean? Kept in the whole ride, got you out on the right candle, got you into the flip on the next candle, even got you out of the flip for the two candles down with a shifty move. You wouldn't have had to get in it though. Like you could have stayed in it if you wanted to, whatever. If you, you know that kind of trader, and then it got you right back into the long on the last two candles of the ninety minute. Like it's just shit. Well, I get off the the ten minutes yeah. the window. You know, so you can, sometimes the ten minute will help you keep 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 you in a little longer. Well, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, all kinds of different plays. Yeah. yeah, you can do different kinds of plays on different time frames. That's the beauty of it. Um. Yeah, I find sure. the predictor on the ten minute works pretty good too, and that won't flip as fast, yeah. obviously, as the one minute, right. obviously, right? So right. if you if you're and same with the RWT too, so it'll keep it'll tend to keep you in because there's one RW you know T for for the one minute, and then it's a little bit broader on the ten minute. And when you look at when you look at them side to side, it, it'll help you stay in the trade a lot a, a longer. Obviously, mm-hmm. taking profits yeah. at targets. Yep, yep, that's the key thing is taking profits at the targets. And then any time frame works, basically. Just don't let the greed fool you. It's just so simple. The two days getting a little Yasha scissor action. <laughs> scissor. The old scissor. Yep. The, uh, I got the everything old... ripping up here, man. Oil's getting crushed. Market's oil. Oil. The oil's getting its PP smacked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I draw a picture of the SCO, the short on it, and it's the short or the SBO. Or SCO is the short ETF for it. SCO. Mm. Yeah. By the way, yeah, on the two day, right, the UPM that I have set on 30 here crossed through that uh, RMLR going down. 
mm-hmm. and uh, on the on the eleven ten, and uh, <laughs> boy, did it ever make a nice move within a couple candles of crossing, like literally the next candle. Yeah, <laughs> this thirty's crossing up the eleven right here. Yep, came there uh, about a, a nice move down. Six about a week. Not longer than that. Two for not about eight days. Two, three, four. Yeah, about eight days. So baby crosses up. Yeah, I'm gonna be watching this. I want to see this two day workout here. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Yeah, loving this indicator. No doubt about it. Loving it. Oh, and there we go. 11 crossed up. Yeah, this 11 crossed up to 30, 33, or the 30 right here. Nice. Look, these bands are tight, too, boy. <clears throat> Ooh, and there's the mean. So, very interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to like using all these together. For sure, because I need to dim down the bands a bit. Too much noise. Yeah. Just lighten up the color a little bit. So when you get like this, I mean, what a job. I mean, just hello. The bands kill me, man. It's hard. By the way, if, if, yeah. you, if you like to trade just the extreme moves, like what you did yesterday, I think, on the stream, and you turned off one of the bands, you can even turn off the first and the second band if you just want the extremes, right? Yeah. And uh, But, I mean, I like to have it on the second because... From the second, you also get a lot of turnarounds, right? It's just from the third, it's an extremely high probability, obviously. But even the second is really good. So, you know, I can leave on the second and third to reduce the noise, just turn off the first one. Right. But, uh, but I will even, uh, I will even like, uh, like today, I shared some, some charts where I just turned off everything except the third band. That way, it's just visible. Let's see here. Yeah, this mine's getting a little bounce. Here she goes. Right back up to the the bottom of Spies Weekly at 394 here. I'm telling you, though, man. Where is that? There it is. There's the bottom right there. Yeah, it was up there like 408. Mm. I'd wreck some short sellers. Holy shit. The end of, by the end of this week, Spy back up about 408. <laughs> Just laugh. Be like, you gotta love it. <laughs> gotta love it. That's why we trade volatility. Uh, there's no in between. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty crazy. But that's the thing. People that opened up their consciousness with psychedelics earlier in life, you will definitely understand volatility trading better later on in life. Comes <laughs> up those uh, the volatility. Airwaves. Let's see. Yeah, we went off the track. It's okay. We do that a lot. Traders are crazy. Maybe people didn't know. Okay. You have to be clinically insane to sit in front of computers and trade this shit. And that's for damn sure. Okay. Yeah, not too much more to go over here. What should we look at? You know what? Um, I know. I, mean, so I was having a move. You got to be crazy to look at it. To trade it with the, with the garbage. But once you have access to the, to the useful tools, yeah. you got to be crazy and need to use this stuff. Yeah, this is setting up. Solana's setting up for a nice little pumpy poo here. We're working the same thing. These RMLRs here. Let's see the 90 minute. Hmm. I bet. 32.1, huh? <laughs> Back in the randomness. Oh, there we go. These four hours are right on top of each other. Everything. Power mean, both our MLRs, price actions below everything. I'll tell you what, man, this thing gets this thing on this four hour gets above here. 
<clears throat> Could get a nice little move. Which at this point is kind of a no-brainer. Because everybody's just bearish as fuck. It's like, eh, perfect time to uh, just slap him a little bit. <laughs> exactly. Let them all remember who's in the exactly. Yep. When people say the market is usually, like, the herd is usually wrong, but they're all looking at the same bad information and making their decision based on that bias. Yeah. Like, well, you're going to be wrong because you're looking at the bad information. It's not because there's a lot of you or a little of you because some of you are going to be right by the, but default because you're just chick picking the other side by accident or because you guessed it or whatever. But like when you're looking at the good information, it's like you can see why the market's going to be wrong. Yeah, he was uh, the, the, the herd. The market was, itself is not wrong. The market moves the ma moves the action, but the herd that cries, the crying herd, they're wrong because they chose the wrong information. Who's um, who's Tom Sosnov's buddy on those videos? God, what's his name? I always forget. MJ. Yeah. No. You know MJ? Is he available? I think he's pretty cool. I can't remember he's, what he's on the call, but I know I know who you mean. I know who you mean. Yeah. He was talking this morning, all of a sudden I'm listening to him and he's like, he goes, Well, the expected move on blah blah blah. I think they were talking about uh natural gas. <laughs> and I heard move. expected move and I was like, Oh yeah? Oh, well, you're talking about expected moves, huh? What are you using? Are you using the bad math expected move? <laughs> Because it's out there. If you're building, if you're building any of these indicators off of fucking data that that these uh, like uh, trading view and shit have put into their system, it's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah. And there's only, as far as I know, there's literally only two people that figured it out. One of them we don't deal with anymore, and one of them's Van. Van came back and said, "Hey, man, this is this is wrong." And as soon as he yeah. changed it, it was identical to. The previous ones we were using that we knew were right. I mean, we're, I mean, I'm not lie. The guy's smart. <laughs> He's just an asshole. <clears throat> so he'd have a lot more friends if he was a nice guy. Got who knows what that what they could have done, right? If they, if they didn't have an asshole running the ship, I mean, it's just insane, man. Because the information's great, and they got a jump start on it, and had you know, fuck, man, hundreds of people. In the fucking Discord. I don't know what their uh, subscriber rate was. I mean, I know it wasn't as it wasn't as uh, good as everybody probably thought it was. Because we're all dealing with the same shit. We're up against this behemoth scam. Mm -hmm. I can tell you what it was because I was the marketing guy for a while. But uh, yeah. it wasn't exactly, you know, it wasn't massive, obviously. We were still, it was very nascent, very new starting to grow and it was picking up steam because obviously we were you know we were bringing in people yeah. but uh i know more. who knows since then who knows since then we don't know i don't know i don't care i mean it's not, not our problem good luck no. to them but uh yeah no, we're here for like look look at these things we're giving away for free like avp the avq the yeah alr uh, the atpc like unbelievably powerful tools for anybody to learn this stuff for free it's just it's amazing so come in and check it out if you're on youtube or whatever yeah. you're welcome here you can even join the live streams now which is really cool very uh, yeah which the only reason it wasn't ever like that is because we just uh, we had the clown show just on us yeah. <laughs> it's like, leave us yeah. alone yeah. losers yeah. focus on the winners right winners focus yeah. on winning stop go focus on your own yeah. shit yeah Quit gaslighting people in on in, in, um, what yeah. we're doing. Yeah. Look at that. Damn. P Funk plug. That plug thing is. That's a very impressive 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna plug right up some fucking short sellers' butts. I'll tell you that. It, I mean, that hit a nice target right there for a take profit, yeah. obviously. Short seller butt plug. Seen one. <laughs> Yeah. Both. Fuck. Is there a difference? Traditional markets are shit coins at this point. It's it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, I mean, honestly, what do you call what do you what do you call these stocks that have gone from like hundreds of dollars last year to like less than fifty bucks this year? You know, like what you want normal? They lose ninety percent. 
Forex yeah. will give you what you're looking for. <laughs> yeah. Like it nice and slow. Right. Yeah. The problem is a lot of these people, like, when these things come down like this, just like those shit coins, they start buying it thinking they're going right back all the way up to where they were. And that's yeah. 99% of the time it's not going to happen. <laughs> you know, you get these little pop rallies like, like you know, like today and maybe yeah. the last week or two. But those, you know, <laughs> the only one that I ever saw that got crushed that came back was Priceline. Six hundred dollars and like ninety nine two thousand went all the way down to sixty eight cents and then went to two thousand. Mm. Yeah. Wow! Made yeah. William Shatner a billion. Say, Ron, I see that. Yeah, no shit. Captain Kirk, <laughs> how you doing? Captain Kirk, man, you got paid every time you did those price like commercials. You got paid in stock, and that was in the early two thousands when it was still sub ten dollars, and that went to two grand. Oh Jesus! Incredible. Yeah. Big time, all right? Good evening, Christmas. All right, let's wrap her up. Peace. Peace. Right, we'll be back tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. See what happens with Spider-Man. It's dumping out right now. <laughs> Look out below. All right, guys. See you tomorrow.